John Aguilera has invited me to what? do me. What? What are we doing? We are showcasing our pickups from the Video Game Summit 2017. And boy, it was awesome. It was our first event that we went to over here in Chicago for a video game convention. There's sirens going off in the background. Yeah, they're, they're coming for John. We're in the ghetto. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not. We're in a yeah, we are. <laughs> we're in a nice neighborhood. We should probably get on with the games because this is, will be a long video. Okay, I'll let you go first. So what I got here is worms. Yeah. Uh, on the way here, uh, we were talking about this. Uh, you yep. were telling me how how cool it is, and it's I'm like, cool. I'm gonna look for worms. I'm gonna get it. I've never really actually played a worms game. So now I finally have it in my collection. Yeah, that game is so much fun. All right, so what, what did I pick up? Oh my gosh, look at look. This guy, yeah. This guy, yeah. Loose. Uh, uh, it didn't cost me too much. I was like, hey, I can pay next to nothing for it, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the ones I picked up. I used to have this game a while back. Jet Grind Radio. So. Happy to have this back in my collection. Uh, only 20 bucks. Not bad, not bad at all. See, I'm gonna probably get some hate. I didn't like that game. I love that game. I, know. I even like the sequel a lot. A lot of people love that game. I, I just, I don't know, I never got into it. I like, Should I smack them? I like aggressive inline skating. Way too much. Aggressive inline, <laughs> that was a good game. It was a good game. I was like, ah, just, let's get it just like it. I'm like, what's happening? It's nothing like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so, uh, let's see. Let's move this on, I guess. This is a big vlog video anyway. So, yeah, it's Hurdy Gurdy. Or, yeah, Hurdy Gurdy. Very uh, unfamiliar. I'm <laughs> very unfamiliar, but it looked fun and it looked funny. Virtual on uh, Oratorio Tangram. Uh, yeah. yeah, close enough. Awesome. Virtual on is a pretty awesome game. The last Virtual on I bought was for the Sega Saturn. But the reason I bought that copy was because this guy got the full arcade experience in his household. Yep, yep. And then for the PlayStation 2, Indigo Prophecy. Uh, it was fairly inexpensive and I really wanted to uh, play it. So there we go. Indigo Prophecy. Next up, Power Stone. Woo! Awesome. I don't know. I think this was like my first purchase at the event. Actually, it was this one and Virtual Line together. I just had to get them. I don't know. But that was your. I was with you. Yeah, that was your first purchase. Yeah, because yeah, that was the same one where I picked up those other games, which we're gonna get to. That's when. We, that's when we had money. We just picked <laughs> things up. Yeah, we just picked the money, and then I did something stupid, which you should never do. What did I do, John? I don't know. I was feeling good about my purchases. And I'm like, I'm gonna go check eBay. Oh. I was like, oh, I could've got it for five dollars and asked for free shipping. <laughs> <laughs> it made me sad. Yeah. But there's a couple things that made me very happy, and I have to keep on to those, the ones that made me very happy. Alright, so we got I don't really play first person shooters all that much, mm -hmm. but I really never liked shell shading when I was younger, but I'm really, really liking it now because games that were cell shaded still look good. Mm -hmm. So I picked up for the GameCube 13. It looks pretty amazing, and it I'm is gonna, amazing. I'm gonna give it a go because uh, it's gonna be fun. Bushido Blade. I really okay. wanna, you know, cut the limbs off my opponent. So this is the game to get. Well, what's really good about that game is. Matches can be long or short. Or short. Very, very short. I had a sequel, but now oh, I have the original. Okay. I, uh, I hear the original is supposed to be way better. Nice. Nice. I love Resident Evil. You know what I really love about Resident Evil, though? What? Is that, Tommy? Rebecca Chambers. <gasps> oh my god! What? So, they made a game, and most of you are already going, that game sucks. It's Resident Evil Zero. Well, you're wrong! That it sucks. But it is Resident Evil Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> That's a really good price on it too. It is a great price, yeah. And ooh, look at that. 
GameCube are always so cute. Don't you think they're cute? They were very cute. I was like, oh my god, that's why I collect for it. <laughs> I collect for everything, unfortunately. <laughs> Me too. It's really expensive that way. <laughs> it is. Like, I don't have this, but it's really easy though. You're like, I don't have this, this is super cheap. I don't have this, this is super cheap. I'm never gonna get this. Little Samson, you're too expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Paul Rappa the Rappa. For uh, PS1. Kick punch. punch. It's all in the mind. That's all I know. Punch. Anyways. How are you doing fine now? Kick punch. Um, what's odd about this cover? I asked him, is that's not the original cover? And he's like, oh, well, it's like. It's like, uh. Comes with the soundtrack. So. Yeah, he didn't know much about it, but he said it's like the soundtrack. And then the actual game itself right here. Good condition. I have the soundtrack in my vehicle right now. So the next one I picked up, because I absolutely adored the uh, first game of Summoner. I picked up Summoner 2. And I really never had a chance to actually fully play through this. I kind of liked where they were going with it. So this time you're playing as a girl which is a lot different. Oh. But you kind of like uh, summon into things. And that's a little bit cooler. I thought you played as a woman in the first one. Uh, no, you play as that dude, I believe. Yeah. Oh, but you have a whole party of oh. people. Time Lord. Now, me and my brother had that when we were younger. Uh, it was my brother's game. I kind of enjoy that game. It's, it's hard as shit, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> Anyone plays any NES, it's true. And then, I picked up another RPG. This one is probably better than Summoner 2. I picked up uh, Star Ocean till end of time. Mm. And I don't know if this is actually the price that it's supposed to be going for. I, I think it's kind of low. I don't know. I don't want to look it up because I looked up too many things already and I've been disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to pretend it's a good price. <laughs> Dig Dug. <laughs> Dig Dug. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Dig Dug. That's, that's amazing. So I had to pick up uh, Sadooki. I love what the this Dookie, game. What? I love this game. Uh, it's kind of... You're going through it and you collect things to get to different areas, kind of like almost like a Zelda, except you have three different characters that can do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it has a little RPG like thing to it, and a lot of fun. And three dollars on the front and uh, two ninety nine on the back. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, apparently, it keeps its value very well. Yes. <laughs> In fact, it went up by a penny. Defender two for the NES. Defender 2. I don't know, I, I, I don't got much of a story to share with, uh, share for these games because I haven't played them. Oh, I know. I, I play way too many games, apparently. <laughs> That's why I bought them. Yep. I never played Defender 2, so. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to, and we have a Retron, and that will be happening later on. Yay! Uh, I picked up a game that is one of my friend's personal favorites. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was not well received, uh, and it played poorly, but, uh, it's worth playing all the way through. I saw him beat it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I kind of need to beat this now, too. And this is called Rune the Viking Warlord. More PlayStation love. Somebody has a favorite system here. Let's her go. A boy in his blob. They need a remake of that. Yeah. They did? Yeah. I, I played that game a lot. Oh, you did? Yeah. I still have no idea what the heck I was supposed to do with that game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, what does this beat do? Feed it. Oh, I fall to my death. Okay. Don't know what that does. This game I own. Mm hmm. But it's too good not to have as many copies as I can collect for it. <laughs> and for five dollars, I will buy them all day long. Primal. This game is amazing. Uh, have you played I this? played the demo. It is pretty oh, good. Oh, yes. 
I might have one in my collection. I really don't know. No, I hope you do, man. I just remember playing the demo. Oh, so good, so good. I, I love that game. Smash TV. I've been looking for this game for er, everywhere, and I uh, finally got one for really cheap. I think he sold it to me for five bucks. It says eight dollars on here, but yeah. Smash TV. I played this a lot when I was a kid. Uh, my cousin let me, uh, let me borrow it, and. Damn, me and my brothers play the crap out of that game. So what makes that game really cool? It's just fun. You just shoot people. You just get waves of enemies and you shoot them. You just go into different rooms. How do the controllers work? Can you set it up a special way? You could. You could? What was that way? You you can explain. Oh, you're, you're more excited about it. I, I am super excited. Uh, what it did is it uh, mimicked the arcade. So you would take two controller ports to control one character. One stick would uh, move your character while the other one shoots. That kind of looks familiar now, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Like all games. But back then, that was unheard of. Yeah. So you could, and what happened a lot of times is uh, two players would split it up. Mm -hmm. One person would control movement and the other person would take care of the shooting. And it made for a very fun and aggravating co-op. Especially when the guy with the gun failed to shoot the enemies. Yeah. So I picked up Star Wars Dark Forces, which is another shooter, but it's also Star Wars. <laughs> and like I said, I like shooters well enough, but they're just too much mm -hmm. today. I uh, picked up Circus Caper. It looks very, very wacky. Uh, I don't know. I just couldn't put it I, down. I have no idea what it's about. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> what is it? Circus Caper. Yep. I have no idea. Well, whenever I'm at a vendor and I see a whole bunch of copies of games, I, I can't help but try to get them all. <laughs> so, they had a whole bunch of Wave Race, 64 there, and I'm like, will you take a dollar for, you know, a dollar for each? <laughs> and, and they did, and I'm like, sweet, because it's fun. <laughs> and now I have inexpensive presents to give out to people that may not have this game. <laughs> because it's also a very, very good game. I don't know why it's so cheap, but if it's three dollars, or in my case, a dollar, I will keep picking them up. <laughs> <laughs> he really actually really likes that game. I do! Legit. I do! I don't understand why it's so cheap, but, you know, I like to give it out to people and be like, Don't try it! It's awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Ath Athena. Athena. Oh, Athena, yes. Uh, it says right here, Japan's top arcade hit! I picked up something that I thought was interesting. Uh, I found out that you can get these things pretty easily on uh, eBay. But I picked it up for one reason. Uh, it's a uh, virtual racing uh, Mega Drive, which is uh, not American for here, but it has a, a special chip in it. It's called the uh, SVP, and it was the answer to the uh, third, or the FX chip mm -hmm. from the uh, Star, Fox. Star Fox, or also from the Stunt Racer, and I th wasn't there one more? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, well... This was their answer, but it never got released over here because we got the 32X, which lucky they went with because that was completely a superior system and made Sega go straight to the top. Th that is how it happened, right? No. No, no, it wasn't. Oh. I don't remember. Maybe they should I don't know that his, I don't know my history that well. <laughs> well, Sega's not around anymore, so the answer is no. <laughs> So I picked up an oddball game here, uh, don't know anything about it. Except it, for I want to play it. <laughs> it's called <laughs> Flicky. <laughs> it's got a little, a little bird and with little chickies with shades on. Yes. Little, little chickens. After playing Kodolka, he had to get it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Or not, that's cool. Uh, we really, honestly, Ooh, we I've, both I've don't know what it is. I have no idea, I kind of like it. Ooh, I'm yawning because I'm so tired. Shadow Man. I love this game. Shadow Man? Shadow Man. I picked it up for the uh, N64. I was almost going to get it for the Dreamcast, but mm -hmm. it did not have 
It was just the disc. It was just the disc, but it was only five bucks. And I was so tempted, but I, I just said, nah, I'll pick up Shadow Man instead. Shadow Blasters! Uh, I've, been, I've been keeping my eye on this game for a while now. So anyways, yeah, Shadow Blasters. Yeah. <laughs> for some reason, it reminds me of Saint Sword. Oh, I know cool. I've kept my eye on, eye on it for a while. Alright, so, getting way down here. And we're going to bring out another N64 game. And we're going to call this one Nightmare Creatures. This one's a lot of fun. You ever play it? No, I haven't. I might have you it. Have it. I you might. have it. I might. I got it in a box and everything. I don't play playing games. That's untrue. We don't have time anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I love to do nothing else but play games. So, he I, beat me to this one. I picked this game uh, up because uh, it's got a lot of crab people on the crab cover. People. Crab people. Crab people. <laughs> uh, this game's called Fighting Masters. It looks, looks like a uh, yeah, awful game. <laughs> like, um, we, we hope that we're wrong. <laughs> we gotta give him a good deal on it because uh, uh, yeah, it's probably an awful game. We just couldn't put it down, but we just kept <laughs> laughing. We kept the laughing about the crab dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. We'll try. I it. hope it's good. And. I've always wanted to play this game, but I never wanted to pay for it. <laughs> we never want to pay for shit. <laughs> so, this is uh, Quest 64. And there's not, there's not a lot of RPG type games. Yeah. So, I don't think that's even an RPG. That's more of an action RPG, I think. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So. Uh, you Why know. Not? I gotta try and play it. So here, this next game I consider a personal holy grail. I've been looking oh. for it for a long time. I saw it at the Midwest Gaming Classic. I slept on it and as soon as the doors opened I went to the vendor and it was not there anymore. So when I, as soon as I saw it... I saw it. He saw it. I did. I was like, John? John Truxton. Truxton. I'll take it. And what kind of Truxton is it though? I don't think this is any kind of trucks because you can get loose carts, couldn't you? No. No. Yes. No. You no, can. No. You can, but that's but, not but good enough for John. I got the complete Truxton. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, it is beautiful. It, it, it's it's very mint. The the cartridge is very mint. It's way better than mine. Oh. But Definitely it's, worth. Yeah. The it was, price. It was it was an expensive game, but expensive, but I just didn't care. It is a great it's a great game. Uh, it was on my list right away. As soon as so, I see it, I'm going to get it, and I got it. I do like the arcade better, but it's great to have either way. And plus, I was this guy's, this vendor's uh, second customer. Yeah, he's all like, <laughs> super happy because he's selling all his expensive stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that usually just stays there. Yep. Oh. Alrighty, alrighty. What do we got here? Ooh, Stinger! Stinger! Our friend Steger would love this. Steger is a Mega Man fanatic. I would call him fanatic, actually. Uh, but I picked up uh, Mario 64 because I recently picked up uh, Tron, Tron Bond and Legends 2. And I'm like... Mario 64? Mar Did I say Mario? <laughs> yeah. Mega Man... I'm like, where is he going with this story? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mega Man 64 is what I picked up. And I picked up the uh, Legends uh, for the uh, PlayStation and the Legends 2. For the PlayStation in Tron <laughs> uh, Super Nintendo Dragon's Lair. It was uh, five bucks. Five bucks. Why not? Mm -hmm. Dragon's Lair. I've always wanted to try it out. It plays nothing like the other game. Does it play like the arcade or anything? Nope. The arcade is a CD-ROM game where you just try oh. to you try to you know just. Make I got gyps. Well, it's probably better that way as a platform. So yeah, Dragon's <laughs> Lair, Maui Mallard's Cold Shadow, Shadow, uh, Shadow? Yep, yep, Cold Shadow. Maui uh, Mallard. Well, I cannot speak. It's a Shadow, Cold Ice Heart. Yeah. Yeah. Well, was, whatever it is. I was about to buy that too. Uh, Bird Duck Staff game. Yes. <laughs> yes. Animaniacs. Woo! Used to have this as a kid. Uh, a lot of fun. I beat it so many times. Uh, I'm so happy to have it back in my collection. Animaniacs. Animaniacs. Lots of good things to be said about that. Five bucks. Animaniacs. Those are the facts. I have a Jaguar. 
he has a Jaguar. There pretty much is no good games on the Jaguar. No good games. <laughs> <laughs> so I did what anybody would do and try to search for one good game. Yeah. So again, I decided to try to pick up another game for the Jaguar. And this is Dino Dudes. I know I've heard of it, but I can't uh, remember if it was good or cool. bad. It looks cool. I, I hope it's great. <laughs> I mean, I would like to so be... So your expectations low. I, I, I did. I'm like, maybe... The vendor really wanted to sell it to me, but you yeah, just got it somehow. Yeah, I, I just... I wasn't around. Yeah. Uh, he could talk me out of it. He's like, no, don't buy it. Pilot Wings. Hey. Can't go wrong with Pilot Wings. Well, you can't. I sometimes buy things that I shouldn't. Like... Legend of Dragoon. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, oh, but that's because I gotta pull out the other Legend of Dragoon. <laughs> I told my buddy, like, I'm gonna get this game today. And I wanted it with a book. <laughs> I didn't think I bought one with a book. And I'm like, oh, I got it with a book. <laughs> so now I got two copies. Oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Crazy. Uh, Yeast 3 for the Super Nintendo. I have. I haven't played it. <gasps> Joe and Mac. Super Nintendo. Good stuff. He thinks I have this game in my collection. I believe I just have number one, but it could be possible that I have one or two also. I sometimes get copies of games. And to go with Alundra. I picked up a Shenmue. Shenmue! Castlevania 4! That is good, and chapter um, Legit. Yeah, we checked it because it, it was sold for pretty damn cheap to me. Uh, 30 bucks? Legit cart? Yeah, it's 45, but, so it's not terribly... No, oh, I usually say for 50, but yeah, I just wanted to double check. Yeah. Some kids sold it to me. There's You're a shady. table full of kids, but uh... Yeah. Pretty shady, pretty knowledgeable, so we're like... Very knowledgeable kids, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> but, uh, Dude, yeah, 30 kids. bucks? Hell yeah. And... I think it's... Tommy? Yep. And this one is supposed to play... Like... Zelda, if he was a wolf. Uh, Secret of Mana! Yay! Uh... Another $30 game. It's actually, this usually goes for like $60 on average, but $30, and once again, I had to check it because it's too good to be true, and it's legit. Legit. This is a really good find. I'm yep. so happy to have that in my collection, Secret of okay. Mana. So, I got myself some uh, Shadow Run. Ooh. Yeah, I think we're ready to roll. Is that right? That's right. So, this was actually my last purchase of the day, but I still gotta show off some more stuff. Wait, um, do you wanna save that one for a little bit later then? I'll say it right now. Alright. I'll say it right now. Okay, okay. Uh, I got Ninja Warriors. This is, uh, I paid top dollar for this game. <laughs> I have not played this game. Um, I know nothing about it. But they threw in Rocko's Modern Life for free. Rocko's Modern Life. <laughs> But yeah, Ninja Warriors, uh, really happy to try this out. Um, I was actually out of money. but the, <laughs> <laughs> We were both out of money. But the guy said he accepted PayPal, so we're like, oh, that's another option. And uh, that's how I got this. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> why not? We, we shopped oh, some more. <laughs> we did. Ah, oh, so bad. Oh, really right thing? Yeah. Uh, talking about... That I picked up these guys three for ten, which isn't a terribly good deal, but they look kind of cool. All right, Spyro for the GameCube. Uh, the Legend of Spyro: A New Beginning. That is. Is that like know. a remake? Or? I don't know anything about that. One. They kind of tried rebooting it, I think. Oh, okay. Battle Hearts. This game I played when he picked it up. It was super bloody. And I'm all like, I need it. So, Battle Hearts it is. I gotta put this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just laying my stuff flat. He's just trying to display everything. <laughs> there it is. Battle Hearts right in front. 
I need a room! <laughs> Wario World! Been wanting this in my collection for a while now. Now I got it! Woohoo! I'm making this fast now. Uh, kind of. Uh, let's go with. He's old. He's takes, he takes Street time. Fighter 4? 3DO. Street Fighter 2 Grandmaster Challenge. Yep. It's actually a lot of fun when we were playing it for yeah, a while. We were. It's got really weird uh, audio glitches, though. Uh, that, that's kind of. The, the soundtrack keep, keeps like. Yeah. It's really short. It's a really short soundtrack. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. It like cuts prematurely. I think they bat the battle's over and I'm waiting for a fatality. I'm like, wait, that's not that game. <laughs> um, <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up for the Wii. <laughs> I got this for a buck. It plays just like Smash Bros. So I have one of these guys at home and I may have not taken care of him very well. So I got a new one. Inbox. He's much happier, and he's you, way you too. You cover great. yourself up now. I'm taller than you, John. Okay, we're gonna put down these guys because you've seen these guys for long enough. You know what they are. Dead man's hand for the Xbox. Oh, he's he's playing with all aces. That's, That's dead right. Man's hand. Back in the day, Zelda was popular. I don't know if it's that popular anymore. Switch came out and probably sold a whole bunch of units because of it. But they had Game Boy. And Game Boy had Ages. And that's the only one I bought. I did not buy Seasons, and I've regretted it ever since. Until now. <laughs> and now I have Seasons. And now I'm happier. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, I, I just, I just. What's awesome? Women. What's what? even better than women? Wrestling. <laughs> Put them to good bed. You get you got rumble, rumble roses. roses. I I love everything about that. Yes. I uh, hate I hate wrestling. But I'm sorry. We can't be friends no more. I love too wrestling. Much. <laughs> uh, I do have rumble <laughs> roses for the 360, but now uh, I have it for your PS2, the original uh, one. So I'm happy. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's so good. So good. I got all these little guys. I can't find them all. Oh well, I'm missing Luigi, he's somewhere around, and this is like a little itty bitty cami that you probably can't see, but she hangs onto the side of your coke bottle, and be like, I'm cami, don't drink me. <laughs> Zone of the Enders, PS2. Yes, that was um, highly recommended by Highly me. recommended by oh. this guy. And oh, I, I, you know, I've been wanting it. And I love that game. It's really cheap. Oh. Five bucks. I um, played number two. I still prefer playing number one over oh, yeah? and over again. I just, yeah, that game is pretty darn good. Okay, and then we're gonna go with a bit of bad games. Okay, so I think 3DO is pretty much unplayable. I think that's pretty safe to say. <laughs> Especially uh, this Cyberpunk Thriller Hell. But I had to get it because it has Dennis Hopper in there. And I was like, ah, it can't be too bad. Uh, we'll let you go. go ahead, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll go somewhere. Okay, then we have. Quadrant? Quarantine. Quarantine. Oh my gosh. Quarantine. This game, I'm going to give a second chance to because, well,. It, it might be bad, but it's only bad because I played it now. I think if I played it back when I was playing, uh, oh, uh, Twisted Metal, this game would have been an amazing game. Because I ran over somebody and they just spilled in blood. They're like, ah! <laughs> then someone got in there and like, hey, can you please take me down over here? And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is taxi. And then we got, uh, Creature Shock. Uh, that's... I don't know, I was playing it. It's okay, I guess. And then I was pretty okay to get uh, Wing Command. Oh, sh sh shibby. Shibby, 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 shibby. Uh, well. Recap, we got all these games. And we have uh, the Wing Commander 3. I was really happy to get it until I found out there's a controller arcade stick that would make it better. 
Mm-hmm. Then I'll say, oh no, it's not gonna bite. <laughs> you do that, I'm gonna look at my mess. For the Sega Saturn, I got. I'm so jealous. Gen War? What's it called? I don't know. Gun, Gun War? Gwen? Gwen War? No. G H E N. Gwen? Space. War. War. Gwen. Gwen. Gen. Gen. Gone. <laughs> Anyways, it was a five. It was a five dollar bin. Yes, that's so why I wanted that. And I haven't seen this game before, so I like playing uncommon cheap games. All right, I'm done making a mess. Time to make another mess. Okay. So I also picked up Lethal Enforcers for the Genesis. It's pretty nice. It has two posters in here. Of the same poster, one is beat up and the other is in mint condition. Yeah. Uh, and it also has the book and it has the game. So and the gun. So that's pretty great. Can't go wrong. I got another Sega Saturn game, uh, Machine Head. Very oh, cool cover art. Yes. Uh, this guy had no more money at the time, I and I just <laughs> he says like I just want games he doesn't have. Yes. <laughs> I want games that he doesn't have. Cheered. Just to make him jealous, a little bit. A little bit. Just a teeny little bit. I hope, I hope these games are good because then it gives me a reason to try to look for them. That's what I'm yeah. looking for. Um, I hope all these games are good because we drove five miles or five hours. Well, you know what? I can tell you for sure one game is definitely good out of this. Alright, go ahead. I came here looking for this game and since I came here looking for this game it means I paid too much for it. And that is Pro Soda. I have Persona 2, and I have Persona 3, and 4, and 5. Uh, so I had to get that one. Oh, that should be in front, so people can, can like, look. <laughs> so it can fall off the front again. Death Smiles. Oh. Uh, limited edition. It's got, it comes with the uh, Xbox 360 Death Smiles faceplate, from when they used to do faceplates back in the day. And it comes with the a soundtrack CD as well. Um, yeah, very cool. Uh, picked this up. Picked this up for thirty bucks, and the uh, the vendor also gave me a sealed Assassin's Creed three for free. Sealed, pretty awesome. I was like, I don't want that. He's like, just take it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I did love my Sega Saturn a little bit, so I picked up uh, Golden Axe: The Duel, and it's a fighter. And uh, I don't know about it because I'm gonna have to get home and actually try it. Mm -hmm. It's probably great. <laughs> <laughs> so Brian Collin, right? Yep. Uh, was at the convention, and uh, the guy that developed uh, Rampage series and General Chaos and Arc Rivals and uh, Xenophobe. He did all the art. Right? He did all the art? Yep, he does all the art. Um, anyways, I picked up a copy of Rampage World, wow. World Tour for the 64 and I had him sign it. Pretty awesome. Hollywood is making a Rampage movie. Oh. And uh, Brian there was uh, selling uh, t-shirts for the, the movie, promoting the movie. The film crew t-shirts. Oh no, I'm going to turn off what just happened. Uh oh. Yep. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. The air decided air to Air conditioning. Out. Anyways, Rampage shirts, really cool. Okay, so I picked up a thing to help me type. And I was like, what's the best way to type? And I think zombies. Zombies teaching you how to type is probably the best way to do it. And so I picked up Typing of the Dead. You must type faster so you can blow their heads off. With your mighty saber. Yes. Yes. Maybe just a keyboard. <laughs> I got this Sega Genesis arcade stick. It's pretty heavy, actually. It's, it's very nice. It's a good build. Um, oh. I don't know. I, I I got this because I got my trucks in. Really. Yep. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Yep. It definitely um, will be a lot more fun now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but this is really cool. I, I, I just can't wait to just it's so sad. have it home and... Like full, Be with me forever. It's a full metal back. Yeah. Oh. So cool. Oh, Panasonic 3DO. It's for reals now. Really bad. 
No, I just don't have any good games. Somebody please tell me what I should buy. <laughs> so I can promote loving more. And don't say Gex, because I already have that for uh, PlayStation. <laughs> In long box. And yes, it's probably the only good game. <laughs> I also got a console myself. I got the Sega Genesis 3. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been wanting this for a while, and but I wanted it in the box because I really like the box comes with. So yeah, that's the Sega Genesis 3. Woo! I did come with a box. I'm gonna put my right here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you honest up? Nope. Nope. For the Sega CD, they. Is it called they? Yeah, it is. It's called they. V a y. That's how I say it. They. So, according to Tom, it is they. According to everybody else, it might be something else. <laughs> but it's another RPG, and I love RPGs, and this one was just going for way too much money, and then I found one that was much cheaper, and I was like, okay, I'll try it. Because when I was looking at it, it was going for crazy stupid amounts, and then it was going for a little bit less than crazy stupid. When I got there, I saw this, this display, and I fell in love with it. It's a Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze uh, little little store display. I'm gonna put this in my game game room. I don't know. I really liked it. It just pops. It's so cool. It's got a good date on it. And I got it from the same guy that sold it to me from uh, that sold trucks into me. So he gave me a really good deal on it. The uh, character that I love way too much, uh, if we were paying any type of attention at all, is. Cammy! That's right. So we picked up this for the Dreamcast, which is called Cannon Spike. Cannon Spike! Yeah. Uh, apparently you can choose from seven different characters, including Mega Man and Cammy. So that's going to be amazing. <laughs> One of two players. Yeah, I think I see Arthur in there too. Is that Arthur? I think you... I think it might be. I think, I think it, it is, might be. I think it's Arthur. So, I don't know who the seven characters are going to be, but it looks like Arthur is definitely one of them. Cammy and Mega Man. So, I guess we just think of any other Capcom character <laughs> that fits that mold. I don't know how Arthur fits that mold, though. <laughs> I am super happy right now because I picked up the one thing that I didn't think I'd ever have. Because, well, they're going for too much. And I picked it up better than I thought I'd ever pick it up. In the deluxe set! Oh my gosh, I gotta lower it. Am I upside down? I'm not even upside down! Woohoo! We'll just have to knock John out with this thing. He's my buddy now, Rob. Sorry, John. Says so right here. He's my robotic buddy. So, yeah, this has everything inside of it. Uh, it came with the box. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and test out the Rob when I get a chance because uh, this thing's already been opened, of course. It's got a kind of a weird flat box here. Just to kind of check to see what's all inside. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking awesome! Hello, Rob! And already there, there's all the uh, little platforms for it to play on. Uh, with the gyromite. It has the gyromite and has the uh, duck hunt in it. So. Pretty nice. Pretty, pretty, I'm excited. But that is it, isn't it? It is, except for that that one thing I lost. I don't know where Luigi? it went. Yeah, Luigi. He's somewhere hiding, you know, because that's what Anyways. Oh, yeah, I should stay in here just for Yeah, a oh, we're not going to spend time. No, we're not going <laughs> to. Uh... It looks exactly like this guy, except for Luigi form. I'm Luigi. Uh, so our battery just died in the <laughs> camera. We couldn't tell it was dying already. But anyways, Video Game Summit, awesome place to be at. Uh, definitely worth checking it out next year. Um, we never got to Galloping Ghost. We never got to Galloping Ghost. We're we haven't, not going to get to Galloping Ghost. We're, we're broke as shit. But since we're not going to get to Galloping Ghost, we're going to be playing these games. We're uh, probably not even going to get home. We don't have any gas money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to have to hook. Oh man. What? <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, you're gonna have to hook, or I can do it. You can, you can do it. Oh man, 
But yeah, we've been up since like 2.30 in the morning with a five hour oh. drive and oh, it's, it's kicking our butt right now. It's been rough. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about the pickups for, for mine and Tom's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and leave a comment in the comments below. Thanks for watching.